play guitar. <laughs> um, I'm Angel, I sing. I'm Carlo, and I bang on the drums. My name's Chris, and I play synth and sing. Hi, I'm Adam, I strum the guitar. Hey, I'm Russell, I play bass. Back. For everyone who have never heard of you guys, can you go ahead and give you, give them a brief history of like, how you guys belong to them? Let's see, um, bring down some four from two bands, actually. Um, yeah, me, him, and him were jamming before, him and him were jamming before. Oh, that's kind of a long story. It's very long. Yeah, but, he, he came out of, uh, destruction. I don't know. I was in destruction in the rows. But, but us right here, we've all been friends since high school. So that's how we basically knew each other. And then we just picked him up off the street, basically. And then he, he worked for us as, as a slave. Recorded a new EP a while back. Can you like fill us in on how that went? Um, well, it was two weeks of hard work. I'll tell you that one. But a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun <laughs> in Los Angeles. Yeah. We were in LA. Great. We did drum tracks in a little town called Little Ethiopia at uh, Mike Green Studio. Uh, he did some work with like Rufio and the higher, the higher. So um, I did I did drums there specifically because I really loved the way drums sounded with the newest Rufio CD. So I decided to do drums there. For, we did we knocked it out in one day. The other, yeah, thir the other 13 day. days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, um, I don't know. I did mine in a day, one day. So I don't know. It took us 11 days to record all the tracks together. Okay, how many tracks? Uh, well, there's all the instruments. Uh, Six tracks. We did, we did five, um, and we went back, back actually like three weeks later and we did one more. Okay. okay. And there's also a remix. Oh, remix coming! Remix, techno remix. <laughs> yeah, remix. Okay, so every band's writing process is different. Can you briefly describe your process? Um, well, with us, is uh, somebody brings an idea to the table, and then we go off that. You know what I'm saying? Like, usually we uh, somebody has an idea. You know what I'm saying? And then the guitars will go on top of that, and then you know what I'm saying? Then of course synth and then bass and then vocals last, you know what I'm saying? Vocals will last the hardest process. Okay, and who writes like most of the lyrics in that? Um, I, uh, well... Angel! Well, this actually, does. Does. <laughs> nothing's really like written down. It's like, yeah, it's we just, just like record and eliminate head. all the stuff that... We kind of just Jay-Z in the studio, off the dome. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Most, actually most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, How is the crowd's reactions to the songs? Um, they're digging them, definitely. Um, live, actually, um, we have a video of our last show and, uh, got pretty crazy. You know, jumped into the crowd, crowd suffered for a little bit, um, yeah, I think the people are liking the new stuff. Hope, I mean, I hope they are. It seems like they are. No, actually, I uh, hope you are. The reaction's always different. Um, we, when we play out of town, you know, kids will love us. Sometimes kids will just leave us. You know, <laughs> walk away while we're and playing. It's just, it's always different, you know. Not everyone's going to like it, but we accept that. That gives me motivation. I really like negative criticism. I kind of feed off of it. So, that's what gets me going. I, I think uh, the negative criticism. I think Kyle Black, our producer, he made our songs so they're like really good live. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he, he came to our band practice while, while we were making these songs and he made sure that every part was like, yeah, like intense, intense and, and, and the right spot. And it, the flow like he kept going, you know what I'm saying? So the new songs live are much, much better. Yeah, it's uh, Kyle actually lives in, uh, what is it? Pasadena. Uh, Pasadena, and uh, he actually drove out here to listen to our songs at first, and then, you know what I'm saying, so we can put some organization into it, you know what I'm saying? Eliminate. Yeah, yeah, eliminate the bad, and then he, and to us, you know what I'm saying, somebody going out of their way, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, so it means a lot. He's a close friend to Carlo, too, to Carlo, though. he's in a band, uh, Neuro, uh, they're already signed to Hopeless Records, but, uh, yeah, when he came out here, he uh, was, uh, it, helped, it helped the EP a lot. 
a lot in this song. And the song is just that. What's some of your all-time favorite songs to play live? Um, mine probably be something short. I like uh, my new favorite one is State Lines. State Lines on is fun. My new favorite one is the uh, intro. <laughs> <laughs> I like the intro. It's pretty fun. It's fast. It's a good time. I like playing um, It Takes Two to Tango. It's on my new CD coming out. It's awesome. Uh, I'd have to agree with Chris. This song's a lot of fun. Energy. A lot of energy. Most creative. <laughs> Definitely put some pep in your step. It's our first song we wrote. That song sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what song do you guys have to crown like the crowd favorite? Like what song does everyone feel like? Yeah, it was kind of just have definitely because of our first song we and now uh, basically we got our fan base off that song. And, like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's about to be state line though. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, our new EP state line is definitely gonna stand out more than any other other songs. Uh, I think maybe the the first song on the EP everyone should Yes. There's seven jammers on it, yes. so. Very nice. Now, like, every band has different intentions of playing music. Like, a lot of kids just do it because it keeps them busy, and a lot do want to get signed and stuff. Like, what are some of your guys' all goals in music? Um, well, uh, with us, uh, we've all actually... We want to make it to the top. Yeah, not only that, we've all been playing music for years. Um, yeah, so, like, when we were, like, in high school and stuff, it was, like, we're doing it for fun. But now, like, we're actually looking for career choices, and um, this is a pretty fun career, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being on tour, you know what I'm saying? That's all we want. Meeting new people every day. Just being able to make enough money and get to where you need to be next. Yeah, exactly. Just touring, living on the road. Rockers. Sleeping in random houses, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not taking showers for a good five fire. days. Eating out of random refrigerators. Yeah, yeah that's, that's always fun. good. It's always fun. <laughs> I just want to put a leak on. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get paid for rock and roll. Yeah, because we do a good job at it. I think it's our job. <laughs> what can kids expect out of the um, A lot of energy for sure. Um, we bring a lot of uh, like hype. Yeah, that brings the hype. Party, 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 party. Things to stay interesting. Especially with this one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of rock. A lot of rock. Rock and roll. Out of control, uh, pop, uh, pop, low <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Dancing. A dancing, a lot of dancing. Like, uh, yeah, we like shake to the group thing. We like when people dance. dance. <laughs> and sing along. Uh, I mean, it's just always fun. We like to have fun and make sure the crowd has fun too. Along Lots with of us having fun. Usually if they're having fun, they'll show that, you know, it's back and forth type of thing. They show it here, we'll come back, and then they'll come back more. Usually by the end of the show, people could be jumping off the stage for like, yeah. you know? Yeah. Lots of crowd participation. Yeah, we try to interact as much as we can to the fans and the crowd. The people that are into it. A lot of clapping. So, thank you guys very much for doing this. Where can everyone hear you? I'm on MySpace. Yeah, www.myspace.com slash loveitormuticmusic. Love it or leave it. Love it or leave it. Loveitormuticmusic.com slash loveitormuticmusic. Love it or leave it. Love it or leave it music. One yeah. more time. You can hear it on Pure Volume, purevolume.com slash we are um, Just keep up on our MySpace, we always have shows posted. Our new EP will be available on iTunes when it's out, so hopefully everyone buys our song on iTunes because we need money to go on tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well thank you guys so much. No problem. Yeah, right. We'll see you later.